uh, do some hand lettering. Now I am not going to speed this up because um, I want to uh, just make sure that everyone understands that it has taken me a, a while to hand letter. Um, it is some God-given talent. I am so grateful that the Lord has given me these talents as well as the patience in order to, I was determined and I wanted to learn how to paint with a paintbrush. And so he has given me the patience. He's given me these skills. And so I want to share them with you. He also is the one that has given me this platform in order to connect with so many um, country like-minded people that love this style of lettering. And so um, I have had questions. Do I have like a cheat sheet or something like that? No, because it just really depends on what letter I am making, depends on how I, you know, make it and that kind of thing. But I have found a free font. It's called Gel Dotica font. I will link to that in the description. I'll share that with you here. It is the closest that I have found um, if you want this style of lettering. Anyway, so I just take a quarter of an inch flat paintbrush and I just take my time and um, just make out my letters. They're not perfect. They're not. And then I just go back and uh, just put happy dots on the ends of each letter. And, uh, you know, they're kind of cattywamp wampus. They're not straight. Uh, some of it may, my paint may not be completely um, you know, filled in the letter. So I just, you know, may go back and clean up as I go along. And, uh, you know, that's some of the stuff that I cut out in my videos, but there's so many people that want to learn how to paint. And I just want to be an encouragement to you that with the Lord's help, and just by practicing and, you know, giving those patients, uh, you can do it too. Sometimes I go back and add a bit of highlight or shadowing to my letters. Now I am not going to claim that this is the correct way to shadow. This is just what works for me and what I have found, like I said, that just kind of works for me. So I just take a liner brush and usually if I do black paint and then I go back over it and I do some, um, shadowing or layering, you know, whatever one chooses to calls it. And just with my liner brush, I just go back and just do some lettering and go into the letters. You know, sometimes the E's kind of, um, you know, those that make the, like the E and the C and, you know, D's and all that, they kind of, kind of puzzle me sometimes. I'm like, eh, maybe I shouldn't have did that there, but I just kind of go with that. And uh, whatever I'm feeling for the day, and uh, if I don't like it, I can just take my paint and go back over it. Now, like I had mentioned, I'm not speeding this up. Um, this is in real time when I am doing this. So this, it takes me quite a while to hand letter. Uh, I don't want to ever, uh, you know, make anyone feel that you can't do it because in my videos, I have, you know, like I, I speed up the videos just a little bit so that, you know, uh, the ones that don't care about this, that they won't get bored or that kind of thing. But I have been getting a lot of questions about my hand lettering and my painting. So that's why I am sharing this in real time. And as you can see, I can see, you know, that E, I'm going to have to go back and clean that up. And so I just want to encourage you that you're going to make mistakes. Things happen no matter how long you've been painting. Something's going to happen. Just go back and clean it up. 
And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, once I get all of this done, I kind of like have my little system that I do. I going ahead and lettering this and then I'll go back and clean it up. What I mean by cleaning up is that I will go back with my black and anywhere that may I've got I got my white a little too uh, over the line or a little too thick I'll take some black or whichever color I'm using and I'll just go back and kind of clean up the letters just to make them where it doesn't look um, so like you know like I didn't mean to do that like I like messed up kind of thing and so I'm sharing this with you just to say that even as long as I've been painting things like this still happen and so I always have to go back and I have to clean up my letters um, I sometimes I have to repaint it I have to do a whole nother one because um, I've like uh, I got my letter I didn't space them out correctly and so um, I end up having to redo the whole sign okay so then now for my sign um, what I'm gonna do is um, also do some extra doodling and uh, just take my black sharpie marker just go around the edges and just kind of you know doodling it and giving it just some uh, just some outline I like that for my projects I think that it just kind of the beauty is in the details y'all will hear me say that all the time it's just always the beauty is in the details sometimes and then I will go around uh, each of the letters just to give it additional doodling and uh, just cuteness and so that's another thing that I like to do